Hello, this is Deirdre Brown, your settlement agent serving Maryland, D.C. and Virginia. And today we're going to talk about pre-settlement occupancy agreements. So today we're using GCAR form 1308 and this version is dated for August 2014. If you have a buyer who needs to move in before settlement, maybe settlement date got pushed back and they have already given notice at the place that they're at and they need to move in a few days early, you're going to use this pre-settlement occupancy agreement. You should also be writing this into the contract using addendum of clauses B because there is a spot for that as well. The pre-settlement occupancy agreement um, on the very first page, you're going to write in uh, what's the date of occupancy. You're also going to write in um, what's the daily rate that they're, the buyer is going to pay the seller for being in their property early. Sometimes people use the PMI, but it can be market rate. It can be whatever is negotiated between the parties. In addition, um, it states on this uh, addendum of clauses that the buyer upon moving in needs to transfer all the utilities into their names. They're now responsible for the utilities. The other big thing that's important in, in this one is that there will be a security deposit. The security deposit is held by the escrow agent and that's to make sure that when you do the final walkthrough, possibly on, on the day of settlement or the day before, that the property is in the same general condition as it was when the buyers took um, occupancy. In addition, um, this agreement does not create a landlord-tenant relationship. So even though the buyers are giving a security deposit and are paying a daily rate, there is no landlord-tenant relationship established. So this means that if for some reason settlement doesn't go forward, your buyers must vacate or the uh, sellers can take legal action. If you have additional questions, you can reach out to me at closewithd.com.